I'm gonna show y'all what I got here today. This is uh, one big old chicken trap. I'm gonna catch me some chickens. So I'm gonna show y'all how we do it. First of all, you gotta have some bait. And you get them started on the bait, get them used to eating it. That way they don't suspect nothing. Then you take this trap in that chicken pen and throw some bait in there and catch them. Y'all watch this. You are gonna mess with my girls. All right, so then you set your chicken trap up where they like to feed and mess around. This is just like trapping squirrels or coons or anything. You get them feeding up a little bit. You gotta break off some of this feed and kind of, kind of get them to feeding up. Look at them, they like that. Come on in there. Yeah, look. They'll start feeding around in there a little bit. I'm just messing with y'all. Them chickens do like soybeans and cheese, though. All right, I got a good video for y'all today. We're going to do a little net fishing today. We're going to be fishing some wire nets. If you've seen any of our videos, y'all know this is a big part of our fishing. We're here in Louisiana. Um, got some in right now. We're going to be running them, but I wanted to take some time to show y'all a little bit about these to answer a lot of the questions that we're getting. <laughs> Oakley's messing around back here. Um get a lot of questions about where can I buy these nets, where can I get them, where can I get the bait, what kind of bait to use, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to answer a few of those questions and where these originated from, who's making them, that kind of thing. These, by all that I know, originated in Louisiana. Um, I'm not sure if that's the very first place they were ever made, but southern parts of Louisiana. And a few of the makers that built these uh, moved up in the northern section of Louisiana, close to where I live. And there's a couple net makers that, there's actually three that I know of that still make these in North Louisiana. I make a few from time to time for our videos and stuff, but I, j I just know how to sew them out and stuff. And I'm just making them just for the videos. I don't make them to sell or anything like that. Um, Nets and more, some of the other net places, you can look online, but Nets and more supplies these. We're going to be down in Jonesville today in this video talking to Mr. Lee at Nets and more. Um, and the reason we're doing that is they are the supplier for these cheese slash soybean. I'm not sure of all the ingredients that are in there, but pretty sure that's two of them. But they're, they're just, uh, used to be called a power bait, now they're just calling block bait. Um, something to do with trademarking the name with Berkeley or something. But anyways, I'll tell y'all a little bit about these nets. Um, like I said, there's a few makers up here. Nets and more supplies these as well. There's some guys in South Louisiana that make them. This one is just reinforcement wire. Um, it's inch and a quarter mesh. I think you can fish down to inch mesh in Louisiana. But if you do, you're going to have a lot of little bitty catfish and you're going to have some that are undersized. You're allowed to keep some undersized catfish in Louisiana. Um, even if you're commercial or recreational, certain amounts for each. However, I don't want to fool with all them little bitty ones. So we are fishing this and I'm building one right now. I still haven't finished the video on. That's going to be an inch and a half mesh. It's a little bit bigger than this one. Um, be getting that video out to y'all on finishing that one up. You can look up some recipes online and come up some stuff, but cheese or these blocks is the best two things I have found. I don't fool with the cheese much anymore because of the time, but it is a good bait. It's probably um, as good as anything there is. You can use these little mesh bags, put the cheese in it, tie this up in here under or above its throat, and it'll work like that. I will show y'all how we rig up these. Um, we use a bungee strap. I showed that in some of the videos. You can undo your bungee strap on the pull cord. You got your tail end right here. You open it up. And I show this in some of the videos, but I know sometimes it gets a little hectic in the boat. And I just thought I'd take a minute to show y'all, you know, on baiting. We just take that block right there and just roll it right in against that throat. And it's kind of locked in there. So you can even tilt this net a little bit now, whatever. But as long as you drop it in straight, it's gonna stay right there. Now, if you see, it's kind of 
if, if you drop this in, it's going to roll. Like, you'll, you'll see this net roll. Because that bait's heavy. And what that's doing, that's making sure them fish can't really get up here and get to that block. They'll go in here, go to feeding around on this, kind of crowd each other and shoot on through there. Once they start shooting in, then um, you, you'll go to catch them. Um, however, if this block rolls back here somewhere, if it rolls back there, they're going to feed around. And as it comes apart, they're going to feed around back here. They can push this net and get to it and suck it off of there, whatever. So that's why you want to bait under the throat. Same deal with slat traps or if you're using the bait bags. Same deal. Now I'm going to tell you, if you're catching a lot of fish and they're running good, throw the whole block in there. If they're not running good, this is the side of our boat right here. Take this, bam, like that right there. Use half of it, you'll at least catch a mess of fish for running at all. Um, that's how I test our locations when we get somewhere we want to fish and don't want to waste a whole block. We'll put half a block in them. And uh, you getting all this? Hey, you want to eat it, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> But we'll test the location before we ever put a whole block in, see how well the fish is running. And if they're running good, as long as there's bait in here, it's still catching. If I eat all of this half block, they're done coming in here. No more is going to come in here. So that's kind of the way it works, and that's why. And same thing with slat traps and these with cheese. If you're catching a lot of fish and want to catch fish, you put more bait. Um, used to, we was running slat traps. Uh, a lot of times if the bait the fish were running good and we wanted to bait them heavy we'd put as much as a five gallon bucket under the throat a five gallon bucket of cheese so buying it in 55 gallon drums fishing them like that um as far as how big a catfish can go in that well y'all know how big one would be that's that big around probably like a 10 pounder look at that right on through there so Although it looks like that throat is pinched down, it will open up. And I can promise you a pretty good sized catfish can go through there. Here are some people putting these in the bags. If you want to put them in the bags, that's fine. It might hold it in there a little bit longer. Is it going to catch better? Um, probably not. But that's just my opinion. Well, that's a little bit about the nets. Um, now about where you can find them. There's places that you can get online the scrap cheese and stuff like that as far as bait goes. These blocks, net and more, as far as I know, is the only one that makes these. They do distribute them out to some other um, places. And there's some stores here locally in North Louisiana that have them. We've got Cooters in Farmerville sells the wire nets and the blocks and the cheese. Um, Honey Hole carries the nets and the blocks as well in West Monroe. And um, of course you can get them if you're local or close to Jonesville, Louisiana. You can stop by Nets and more and uh, check them out there. They will also ship them. I get a lot of questions about will they ship these. They will ship them. You need to check your state and local regulations on that because um, there's a lot of places these are not legal to fish. We can fish them here in Louisiana I don't uh, deal with other states. We only fish here, so you got to check your own regulations on that. Um, they will ship these. They went to, I think, eight blocks instead of ten in the boxes. Um, there'll be a little bit of explaining about that from Mr. Lee in the video, but um, that has to do with shipping costs and stuff. They will ship these anywhere in the United States. So we'll get on to the rest of the video. We're going to get on the lake. See if we got any fish. Y'all enjoy. First one. We pull them up. We put five nets in. Five wire nets. Pull them up. See what we got. Still trying to catch some of these winter fish in the deep channels. All right, we got Noah back in the boat with us today. That's the son-in-law, in case anybody don't know. He's getting that first one up. Nice 
Not good. Not a lot. Nice mess, but it ain't a lot. Well, we didn't have a lot in that one. I don't know. 25 head or so, maybe. They're getting up the 70s, water tent fries, baits left the channel. These fish, a lot of them are fishing to move up, start spawning. These channel cats and stuff will. So they're moving out on the flat. So if we pull that net out of the channel, up onto the edge of the channel, the edge of the flat. We give it one more week just to see what happens. If this will run these others in the channel and uh, check them out. Pulling up the second one. Let's see what he's got. Hopefully this one got a few more fish than the last one had. Looks like it might. Ain't bad. That ain't bad at all there. Yeah, you're gonna probably need some help with that. All right, we had a pretty good catch in that one. Spin it around the other way, no. No up there dropping this one back in. Whenever it pulls tight. Going back in with it. All we're doing just setting these straight up and down the channel right now. You got a little bit of current coming down this channel. And that's where that one caught right there in that current. Alright guys, I'm down here at Jonesville, Louisiana at Nets and Moore. Got Mr. Lee here with me. Um, I got a lot of stuff down here. Get a lot of questions about where can I get materials, where can I get bait, the cheese blocks for fishing, the wire nets. I'm gonna let Mr. Lee talk a little bit about that. He, he can hook you up down here. They got the bait. They do the ship, and I'll let him talk a little bit about that. So Bradley said everybody wants to know where you get the power bait from. First thing is we had to quit using the term power bait, so it's called block bait now. Uh, Berkeley has power bait trademark. So uh, when you hear people talk about power bait for the catfish industry, it is our bait that they're talking about, okay? If you go to our website, though, it's not going to come up if you Google power bait anymore. So Google block bait and you should get our website. We are the manufacturer of the bait here. We make two different versions. We make a soybean and cheese product and a soybean only. Soybean and cheese product is by far the most popular product for catfish. The soybean product is what uh, most people use for catching scale fish later in the year, okay? Uh, we make the blocks in a 12 inch and a four inch block. The 12 inch block is by far the more popular block, okay? Uh, it is the more reasonable block. A lot of people think you gotta buy the four inch block if you want a small piece that is not so. It's easily coverable with a pocket knife or anything, okay? I always break them over the side of the There you go, anything works, right? Yeah. Uh, we do ship it every single day. It is by far more affordable to ship it by the case. We used to have a 10 count case. We now do an eight count case, okay? Uh, to get it under some shipping regulations with UPS and get it more affordable, we ship eight blocks to the case now, about 48, 50 pounds shipping. And in Louisiana, it runs about 20 bucks a case. So it's pretty affordable, okay? Uh, a lot Look of people, total cost program, $55 per uh, case in Louisiana. It's thirty-five twenty for a case, plus about 20 bucks shipping, so about $55 for a case time it gets delivered. Now in Louisiana, you do have to pay state tax. 4.45% uh, adds a little bit to it, okay? Uh, but if we ship it out of the state, we don't have to collect any tax whatsoever, okay? So out-of-staters get a little bit of an advantage, okay? Uh, wire you nets. anywhere in the United States. Anywhere, and do every day, yeah. Wire nets that everybody's looking for, we make them every day. You'll see them hanging right here behind us. We do ship those every day. They are a little more expensive to ship, okay? Uh, they run about $50 on average to ship one. We cannot ship anything more than the 19 inch diameter net, the smaller net. It's the only one shippable by UPS, okay? Unfortunately, when you get it, it may be bent a little bit, okay? I uh, can't seem to get UPS to get that part right. They're gonna damage it a little bit. A damaged trap catches just as well as a not damaged one, okay? Uh, if it's bent a little bit, just straighten it up, put the bait in it, it's gonna fish right well, okay? Along with those products, we've got everything else, all the trot lines, flies, nets, flies, build your own nets, hook nets in stock every day. Uh, power bait is available for pickup every single day here. You don't have to pay the shipping that way, okay? What else? 25. And you get a lot of questions about 
netting, what size do I need to get, uh, how many mesh do I need to order, how many pounds, things like that. Mr. Lee has got all these patterns worked out and he'll help you with all that, right? Yes. Yeah. If you want to build your own hook net, just pick up the phone, give us a call here, ask for myself or Michael. We will send you a copy of the pattern. We will explain to you how to cut the netting out. Uh, you know, you're not gonna get the long form of this as we can't stay on the phone that long, but we're gonna definitely get you started. We'll get you just enough material to make sure you have the right material, okay? Uh, we'll try to make sure you get the right mesh size so it's not illegal as well. In the state of Louisiana, one inch mesh and larger, but you go over to Mississippi and it's three inch mesh and larger, okay? So it's best to know your own state laws. We're not going to keep up with the laws in every state. It's impossible to, okay? But, uh, you know, the one the states around us, we're pretty well familiar with their laws. So we'll try to make sure you don't get something that's illegal that's going to get you in trouble, okay? okay. Got fiberglass net hooks in stock. Uh, last year, that was a struggle. Fiberglass was really hard to get hold to, okay? Uh, we have quite a bit of hooks in stock. So that was a big issue last year, okay? You had to call ahead and order hooks. It took about three or four weeks sometime to get them. We have a good inventory of hooks this year. So anything hook net related, we should have in stock this year. They got anything you need in stock, just give them a call, let some more. Thank y'all. All right, pulling up the third one. See what we got. It's like another good mess in that one. Not loaded up, but pretty good mess. Look at that. Good mess. Alright, we got Noah pulling up the fourth one. See if we got them. That one looks a little bit better. That one's got a little fish in it. Oh, yeah. That one's loaded up pretty good. You ready? Yeah. That's a pretty good catch on that one. Not bad. Not bad. Going back in with it. Just pull that line tight and drop her in. Right there. I like to throw a lot of slack in that line right there like he's doing and, and keep that net going down flat on these wire nets so that bait will stay up against that second throw. Do that. on the catch better. We had that one a little tangled up, but we got it. Got a few in it. Bad. Got to see what we're doing here. Uh, we got these bungee straps to hold that hold that tail in together. Works pretty good. Channel cat, that's what's for supper. Y'all can see we probably got about 200 pounds of channel cats there. If uh, Don't put out more than two or three of these nets if, unless you want to do some work. You put out four or five, you're allowed to fish five on a recreational license. Like I said, we're commercial now. We can fish more than that. I just don't want to dress that many fish. So 
you put out if you put out what you're allowed on recreational you can do some work i see a lot of people go and they'll buy five of these nets right out the gate knowing they're going to recreational fish and come out here and put them out man y'all <laughs> if you load up like you're going to load up you're going to have more fish than you want to clean or you're going to have more than your limit on recreational you're only allowed 100 per person so you got two choices there you can go commercial and keep whatever you want and sell a few if you want uh got a few more licenses to buy there but uh you also got to have a gear license and all that if you go commercial show y'all what we got right here we got about 200 pound of channel cats not bad for five wire nets what you what you gonna do them fish i'm <laughs> just gonna fry them up you're just gonna fry them up just, just a regular gonna... old fry them up Throw them in some hot grease. Well, yeah, we'll. <laughs> them ain't fish skin issues. <laughs> no. You better you get can your, see my feet. You better get your, you better get your fish skin and boots on, girl. We gotta dress fish. <laughs>